Hey everybody, welcome on into the channel. Thank you so much for checking out the video. We are going to be building an aquarium today. We are bringing the ocean above ground in probably one of the funnest builds I've done uh, in any survival world. Now you can do this in creative, but uh, who wants to do any creative? And we're gonna go on out here. We're gonna we're gonna go down my little my ivory tower here. We're gonna go hop into our boat. I'll show you the ivory tower maybe in another video if you guys are interested. Oh, poor dolphin. He just he just died in the hole. Poor little fella. In order to build this aquarium, what we've done is we've come out to the warm ocean biome, which has a lot of this lovely coral, lots of lovely pretty fish, and of course the sea pickles, which kind of make it stand out, which we will also grab some of those later. But first we're going to worry about grabbing this coral. Just going to bebop around here. Take my breath. Now, I'm using a Respiration 3 helmet. You can use a water breathing potion, which I highly recommend. I just did not have any blaze rods at the time and did not have a brewing stand when I recorded this. Uh, and, oh, you got a uh, side note. When you're down here uh, collecting the materials, look out for these assholes. They uh, they really like to wreck your dick. Get, get out of here, you. you. You silly guy. All right, now that we're back at it. Don't forget that if you're collecting these little corals, you're going to need a silk touch pickaxe because if you don't have a silk touch pickaxe, uh, they're just going to break and go bye bye. And same with these big blocks of coral. If you break them with a regular pickaxe, uh, at least in my experience, I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me in the comments that I'm an idiot. And more of you guys. Get out of here. Get. Get out of here. God, there's just so many of them. But you usually just use the Silk Touch pickaxe to collect the coral so you don't kill it. And an another one. God, get, get. Nobody wants to hug you. Nobody wants to be your friend. Let's get out of here. All right, so now we're going to collect a few more of these. Dig it on here. Digging. Sorry, I've been playing a lot of Thimbleweed Park lately, so uh, that's what we're doing. But we're going to zoom through this really quick because nobody really wants to uh, sit and watch me mine coral for hours on end. And, um... We usually grab a little bit, you know, we grab a, one of each color. There are four different colors. There are pink, blue, red, and yellow. And that's kind of what we, I guess, kind of a purpley, but it's, it's pink. It's pink. And then there are also, there are two separate types of each color of the smaller coral. But now it's nighttime, so we're going to head back home and then uh, come back out when it's, it's sunshiny and safe. And after we've got the coral, we need uh, something else to make it look like a nice underwater aquarium, uh, undersea aquarium. We've got uh, kelp, this wonderful stuff. You just grab a, I grabbed a handful of it. I figured I'd make a, a kelp farm at some point. So I grabbed a way, way more than I needed for this project. But it was one of those things I was just like, oh, well, why not, right? We'll just, uh, we'll just grab this coral, this <laughs> coral. This isn't coral, it's kelp. Anyway, now that we're here, we're going to start digging out this grass. I've already laid out some of the glass. Um, I think it was like nine high by like 22 long maybe, but, uh, yeah, and here I realize I've, uh, um, uh, I'm out of sand. So we need to go, we need to go make mother nature. We need to go make mother nature our bitch. So we're just going to tear into this, this nice little sand bank here. I don't think mother nature will mind too much if we just take what we want. Um, yeah, let's hope not. Let's hope that there's no repercussions for our our greediness here. But we're gonna go back, and now we've made uh, we've got all the sand. We've got uh, gonna place some lumps of sand here to try to maybe make it not as flat. Cause I mean, like the ocean isn't flat. It's it's got texture, so we want to add some texture to this uh, lovely aquarium here. So now uh, we went to bed, came back. It's daytime, so now it's time to lay the glass. Now that we're happy with the way the sand looks on the inside, we're just going to play this do 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 and the, the top row is done. Then we're just going to fill it in. Uh, I've always figured stair-stepping stuff, because when you're building in survival, is about the easiest way to do that, so you can get to every layer that you need to. Uh, and it works pretty efficiently. And then we're going to fill the rest of it in here. And that is the overall construction of the aquarium itself before we fill it with water and all the wonderful uh, wildlife. So we'll be back tomorrow for that. So now we're going to take our sand. We're going to do 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 all the way. Oh, do that. Now, it was my understanding that uh, filling in the top with dirt and then putting the water on top of this dirt would then fill the entire aquarium. But I was unaware of what the effects of the water would be. So it doesn't actually create 
source blocks underneath. Um, I didn't know this. I'm I'm still derpy. I've been playing Minecraft forever, and I still didn't realize this. But I figured, oh, this is the easiest way to fill a giant tank. Except for it does affect the way the coral and the fish act within the tank. But th 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 this way still works if you just follow along. We do end up fixing most of the source blocks issues with... Oh, we, we 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 lost our we lost our infinite water source there I, uh, I I think I took it from the left hand side but anyway uh, in Minecraft you can use a magma block to create water source blocks so any water that is above a magma block any water that is above a magma block turns into a source block so what I should have done here after this step, now don't be like me and put in a whole bunch of coral, which we end up doing, and, um, you know, not putting the, <laughs> not putting in the magma blocks first. So what I did here is then I dug all this out and then we've got water, except for the only source blocks in this aquarium are at the top. Now, if you were to put fish or coral in here right now, the little coral, not the big coral, uh, the little coral will instantly break and your fish will be instantly pushed to the bottom of the tank and won't be able to swim around. Now, what I've done is I, I kind of went for a little bit of balance. I wanted a little bit on one side, a little bit on the other. Place the kelp around here. Um, and then here, eventually, I do realize the flow of water starts to affect things. Um, placing some sea pickles. Now, I did collect sea pickles. I didn't show that, but you can collect these, and you can also grow them on coral blocks if you wanted to start a little mini farm. They add a little bit of light and eh, just a little bit of extra depth and color to, to your tank. Now, this is about where I realize that the flow of water is messing with it. You see, because I'm like, oh, oh, okay. That's, huh. So now I now I realize that there, there there's some issues. So I go in here and I grab myself some magma blocks. And I'm instantly going to go and try. I'm sorry about the rain, but, you know, you know, it's Minecraft. You work rain or shine, right? Okay, so we go down here. And if you just place the magma cubes down... Not magma cubes, magma blocks. Jeez, there are magma cubes and these aren't it. But what has now happened is all of the space above that, all where those bubbles were, are now source blocks. Now what we have here is the pretty much finished product. Thank you so much for stopping on in, everybody. I am Micromanager once again, and this has been a fun little video to make. I've always wanted to kind of make a an, an aquarium. Under the sea, under the sea down where it now get guys the, the video's over just go hit the subscribe button go check me out on twitch if you ever have the chance twitch.tv forward slash micromanager just as the name here on youtube and of course guys get out of my house before i call the cops